I started reading The Name of the Wind, just a few chapters, a good, little bit. Good, good, good. So you know what it's about? It's about. This is what it's about. The King Killer and his Chronicle? Okay, well, yes. Yeah. So basically, here's the story I've got so far, right? It's not a spoiler. I mean, it's pretty much like yeah. obvious as soon as it starts. It's not like a hidden thing, right, from the reader at least. So there's this dude named Kavach, Kvath, whatever. Kavach. Right? He's hanging out as an innkeeper in a small, tiny village, right? And he's just innkeeping. But you know... He's a total badass wizard with an apprentice who's hanging out in there. He's just hiding as an innkeeper to hide from something. All right. And like you do. there's some guys who hang out in his inn all the time. And those are the guys who hang out in the inn all the time. All right? And one of them gets fucked the fuck up by some sort of evil spider demon giant fucking thing. And he sees it and he acts like he doesn't know, but oh shit. <laughs> right? And then this uh you know people come to town and sort of recognize him and he's like these aren't i'm not the wizard you're looking for i'm just an innkeeper go away <laughs> and then eventually though the chapter i just read a chronicler shows up and the chronicler is like Wait, chronicler like in burning his name, I play his, his name is chronicler and he knows who he is and he's like i got gotcha. you Right? He's like, I'm on my way somewhere else, but I got you. This I is want... one of those like, you're a hard man to track down, Mr. Sampson. Sort of, right? But he didn't. He didn't. He was. He didn't expect to find him, right? But he's like, now that I've got you, you have to let me chronicle your story, right? He's like, people, and he, he tricks him. Well, sort of. He's like, people, you know, say all these things about you that aren't true. Don't you want to set the record straight, right? Blah blah blah. And then he's like, it'll take three days. So he hasn't started telling the chronicler the story yet. But I'm getting the feeling that there's going to be three books and he's going to be three days of telling the chronicler his story. Uh, I don't think it's going to be, um, you know, tell the chronicler the story in the next chapter and then go back to the deal with the spiders, whatever. I think it's going to be three books in three days of uh, telling this chronicler. This is one of those things of a hundred books like Wheel of Time. I know. I, I think it's, I think it's three books. I, I could deal with that. <laughs> But it, I, I just like Game of Thrones, Wheel of Time. I cannot I think deal. It's, I think it's more like Princess Bride, <laughs> and the beginning part is the bedroom <laughs> and the grandpa. <laughs> At least you know I've I'm, I've only it couldn't it might not be it might be the next chapter is like and he told the, the chronicler his, it's like and he told get the ebook or whatever or pirate right. I don't care it's very popular it's not hard to get a pirated but yeah it's kind of like whoa it's kind of and it, oh the magic is the same as the earth sea magic where it's like that's why it's the name of the wind name of the thing right because it's like you say you speak he spoke the true name of the wind and he flew across the sky at, you know yeah that same bullshit he I'm spoke the name of the stone and it cracked like you know a twig over someone's knee pikachu <laughs> yeah something like that did something happen to a guy's knee no, somebody broke out of a stone prison with by saying no because you posted like a, someone took an arrow to their knee. Yeah, that was. I'm pretty sure that Skyrim got it from this book. <laughs> it had to have because the guy he basically in the when he well, that's one of the lies he uses to make pe someone think he's. I an used to be an adventurer. To, to make someone think he was an innkeeper, he was like he he basically fell down on purpose and then limped up the stairs and he's like, oh my knee's no good. I have to go upstairs now. I'll see you guys later. I took an arrow to my knee back in the. When I was a bodyguard really for hurt. some... Arrow like goes into your knee, like... <laughs> Imagine it was in the cap. Like, not just like, you know, it, it could be like... No, you, behind you, it. Like, like you would, it goes like, in like up here. Like, like, yeah, well, it's like, you know, you would expect if an arrow just went straight at the knee, no matter how fast it was going. Like, if it was maybe a metal arrow, it would like go bang and fall on the ground if it hit straight on and then your kneecap might shatter or crack or something right well, what if it goes in like here like whoop. well yeah that's what you'd expect to get an arrow in the knee it would have to be like in one of these areas right it could be under the calf it could be from behind it could be from the side right but imagine if it went in to the calf poked a hole in it you know, maybe broke it and then kept going straight. I think they're all pretty bad. Further. That's the word. It's like, how could that even happen? Uh, some sort of drill arrow? Zzz. 